not only are we able to edit audio inside of a clip and move those audio events around, delete them, etc., we can actually move audio events between multiple clips, so then that way one clip can contain audio from multiple sources. Let's check out how this works. We have our claps here. I'm gonna bring in another audio clip. Let me go ahead and press B to bring up my pop-up browser. And I'm gonna go back into my little Capsun Pro Audio section. And uh, why not, we'll go back into the Trap and Twerk folder here. And I wanna find some sort of drum loop that doesn't have claps. Okay, I think this will work for what, what I'm thinking right now. So let's go ahead and hit OK. All right, so now we have a different audio clip with completely different types of sounds in it. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and, do I wanna solo this? Let's just mute both of those and I'm gonna play the drums that don't have the hi-hats in them. And I'll make it a little bit easier to hear what we do with these two clips. Now, if I wanna be able to edit audio between both of these clips, what I need to do is make sure that they're both selected. So this clip here is selected. I'm gonna go ahead and I can either hold shift and select this, that'll select both of them, or with the first one selected, I could hold command and select this, and that accomplishes the same thing. Now, with that done, nothing really changed down here, but if I look in the lower left corner of our editor, I see a button here, it almost looks like a stack of papers, and this will allow me to do layered editing. When I click this, now both clips that I've selected on this track are visible, and I can freely move my audio events between the two clips. Now the clip that I'm gonna hear is the one that's been selected, so when I play this, even though both of them are technically selected, we can see them both in the editor, the first one that I chose is the one that's playing. We can see that that's playing right there. Now I'd like to be able to see this a little bit better, so let's go ahead and go back to our full screen editor panel. There we go. And uh, let's see, hit the I button. I don't need to see the inspector. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take some of the sounds from this particular clip and bring them up to the clap clip. I think it would be cool. We have a little snare in this particular sample. I'm gonna switch to my knife tool, press five. Split that audio event there up to right there. I'm gonna switch to my pointer tool by pressing one, and I'm gonna drag this up into the clap clip. It's quite nice. So we have the same thing going on right here, the third beat of the second bar. I believe this is also a snare. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my knife by pressing five. And again, we'll just drag this up here. Okay, I believe these are like little hi-hats or something, the end of this clip. So I'll press my five, into my knife tool, slice and dice in Julianne. <laughs> and let's bring this up here. And you know what? The rhythm of this is a little bit weird, so I'm gonna change this so that it's really just that one hi-hat. Zoom in a bit. And maybe we'll make this a little bit shorter. There we go. Now I wanna copy and drag this so that this little short hi-hat plays for the final few 16th notes in this particular clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold Option, click on this. This will allow me to copy and drag it. All right, there we go. And I think I might wanna try and put one of these kicks in here as well. So I'll press five, let me grab this first kick. And I'm gonna put this after the first clap that's playing there. And how about, let's shorten this up and move it back. There we go. All right. So now if we go back to our arrange panel, let me go ahead and click right there. All right, so that's our newly edited clip. Bring this back in as well. All 
And we'll bring our little bass back into. 